Good morning. Each and every one of you is a very special person. You're kind, you're respectful, you think about other people and you love with your hearts. Welcome to today. Guess what we're going to start with? You got it! And have a look behind me. Try to figure out what number goes with today. <sighs> it looks very different to the last time we were all here together. It's a brand new month. That's right, it's the month of April. And if you look really closely, you'll see that I have made the dot on the top of my I into a raindrop. And that is because in April it normally rains a lot. So far it's been sunny. Fingers crossed that it stays that way. Okay, yesterday was April Fool's Day. That was the first day of April. So there we have a number one. Which number goes with today? Not so tricky, huh? Yeah, all right. Let's call on the little piggy. He's got quite a lot of numbers to look after. So let's see if he's doing a good job. There he is. Can you see him? Yeah, there is his face. He's not really got them sorted out very well. They're a bit messy, so he needs to work on that. Uh, but thank you, little piggy, for looking after the numbers. Let's see if we can find the number two. Fingers at the ready. Draw it up in the air. Looks a bit like a duck or maybe a swan. Yeah, now we know which way it faces. We know how, to how it feels when we draw that number or write it. Let's have a look for it. First up, we have... No, you're right. We are just looking for one single two, not a double digit number. That is indeed the number 22. So, is it this one? Da, da, da. Uh, yeah, you're too good. You guys are super good at this. That is the number 12. Okay, that's going to be when we're on school holidays. That's going to happen. Uh, how about this one? What do you think? Is it going to be... The one we're looking for, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Take a close look. Yes, you're right, that is the number two. So, let's pop it up on the calendar. Oh, does anybody know which day of the week it is? Yesterday was Wednesday, great. So today, think about Theo brushing his teeth for 3,000 hours. Don't really do that, Theo. It's too long. You'll, you'll, you'll ruin your gums. Um, it is Thursday. Well done. So, welcome to Thursday. I'm going to try to keep this morning video quite short because today we are going to video chat. I'm super looking forward to that. I really want to see all of you. Think about any questions you might have for me. Alternatively, you can think about what you'd like to share, okay? That is a time for questions and sharing information, okay? So, have a think about that before we do our little video call. Um, today's learning plan is up on Teams. We start with some English grammar, so like verbs, adjectives, nouns and proper nouns we've looked at very, very carefully. And today we're going to look at something brand new. Something called sin o nims. Sin o nims. Okay? And synonyms are words that have the same meaning as other words. For example, big. Can anyone think of a word that has the same meaning as big? Good. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, indeed. Huge, enormous, 
gigantic giant. Super stuff. Now, small. Yep, tiny was exactly what I was thinking of. So, just two examples there for you. I'd like you to take a look at uh, a lot of words that are put down together for you on a synonym sheet. And you choose five of those words, okay? Five. Strong number. Powerful. Uh, choose five and then write down a synonym for each of those words, okay? Big and small are both up there. So you can choose those two and then three others, okay? After that, it's story writing time. Mm -hmm. So spend a little time on synonyms and then see if you can get to your story. For this, you can make up again your own story. You need four. We had five words for synonyms. Now we've got four story elements, okay? Characters, setting, problem, good. And finally, solution. How is the problem solved? How does the book end? How does your story end? Okay, another week of story writing. Your stories have been so good. And that is why I want to read more of them. That's all I want to do really is like read your stories and find out exactly how your imagination is working its magic. Okay, so write another story for me today. You can send that through to me in the normal ways. In your story, I'd like you to take two of the synonyms that you chose and use them in that story. Okay, as a challenge for you. See if you can do that today. All right, we've also got a bit more double edition, double digit edition maths. We've got some experiments to do, or rather an experiment to do in unit of inquiry. It's a weather experiment. There'll be another little video coming up and I'll show you what to do there. And then we have also got some music. Part three, <laughs> we had five, we had four, and now we've got three, part three of our mini music project. And today, you got it. We are looking at the quarter notes. All right. Again, there'll be a little music video coming up for you to take a look at before you record your final music piece. All right. I wish you all, you very special people, a wonderful, heart-filled, sunshine-filled, educational, learning, brain-growing day of happiness. See you soon.